Hi guys, I'm Cyrus Rockwell. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be doing tutorials on my style of Muay Thai mixed with TKD and a couple other uh, martial arts. Over the course of time, I'm going to show you guys a few dozen different uh, tutorials on different moves, techniques, strikes, counters. Today we'll start with basic stances. Um, the first stance will be the neutral stance, which will be, you can either be flat foot on both feet, or you can be on the balls of both feet. Um, this stance is used more for sitting down on your punches, or staying more ready for whatever might be coming at you when you're in a more defensive state or defensive mind. This would be the stance from side, from side view. I'm, on, I'm flat footed on both feet, and on the balls of my feet. Then on the balls of my feet, I'm, re I'm more, I'm bouncy, more springy, ready to move, ready to move. On the side view, flat foot on both feet, and on the balls of my feet, ready to move. From the back, I'm flat footed, on the balls of my feet. So I stay flat footed so my punches are heavier, my base is stronger, and lower to the ground. I can throw heavier punches this way. In a neutral stance, or well, any stance, from the three stances that I show you, your back foot should be pointing forward a little bit, and your front foot will be pointing point forward as well. The back foot won't be point, pointing completely forward, but it'll be pointing forward a little bit more at an angle. And you can either be on the, on the balls of your feet, or you can be flat footed, depending on what you want to do. If you're expecting attacks to come at you, you'll probably be on the balls of your feet, so you can bounce around and move. If you want to attack, you'll probably be flat footed, so you can sit down on your punches. And that's the neutral stance. And the next stance will be a front stance, which is to me more of an attacking stance. So again, your, your back foot will be pointing more forward, while the uh, front foot will be pointing completely forward. Most of your weight will be on the front foot or the front leg. You'll lean forward a little bit. It's a front stance. So you'll lean forward a little bit. This leaves your back leg lighter. So your back leg's lighter, you can you can use it to kick more. Remember, um, since the weight, more of your, most of your weights on your front foot, you should be on the ball of the back foot all the time. So in this stance, you don't have to be, you don't have to have both feet the same. You don't have to have both feet on the balls of your feet, or you don't have to be both flat-footed. Me, I prefer in the front stance. I prefer to have most of my weight on my front leg and a little bit on my back leg, so I can be on the balls of my foot. That way, it's faster when I want to spring and kick. Okay, so I'll show you from side position. Most of my weight's on my front foot. Uh, a little bit of my weight is on my back leg or my back foot. And I'm on the ball of my foot all the time on my back leg. And this is the leg that I want to attack with. Again, I, stay, I keep my rear leg or my attacking leg on the ball of the foot while most of my weight's on the front, on my front leg. So I'm ready to attack. This leg's light. It's light. So I got most of my weight on my front leg. I'm leaning forward just a little bit. I can kick quickly. I can kick, kick. And that's the front stance. Next, we'll move into a back stance. To me, a back stance is more of a uh, defensive stance to where most of or all of your weight is almost on your back leg and your front foot's a lot lighter. So you can use it to defend or to attack. The back foot flat and have the uh, front foot maybe on the ball or on, or on your toes and just bounce and relax and wait for your you're waiting for your opponent to attack so you can counter. So if they throw a round kick, you can block. If they throw a round kick, you can teep or front kick. I'll show you from a side view. This is the back stand. Most of my weight's on my back leg, while my front foot's really light. There's hardly any weight on it. Again, I can block if they throw a round kick, 
right and deep when they attack as well. Most of my weight on my back leg, my front foot is really light. When they attack, I can teep or front kick, or I can block, depending on what they do. And that's a back stand. And I have one more stance. It's a side stance. This stance will be used more for when you want to do kicks like spinning back kicks, side kicks, and uh, spin, spinning heel kicks. Um, you can be flat footed or you can be on your toes. If I choose to fight in this stance, which I rarely do, but if I do, I, I like to be on my toes. So I'm faster that way. But you can be flat footed if you prefer to be flat footed. I think it'll probably be good to be flat footed if you choose to do like a side kick or something or a hook kick or something like that. But if you want to do spinning back kicks and spinning heel kicks, you should probably be on your toes. It'll be completely sideways. So therefore you have uh, you're giving your opponent less to look at, less to hit, versus being more square and like a front stance, where your opponent has more to hit and more to look at. So stand sideways, they got less to hit and less to, to measure up to, to, uh, to look at or hit, or attack, I should say, from the side view, or from the side stand. From the back, I'm flat footed, or I can go on all my feet. Another thing to keep in mind when you choose to fight in the side stance, you should use the side stance to kind of keep your opponent at bay and fight in a long range, uh, a long range position, you know. You don't want to use the side stance to fight close to your opponent because you leave yourself open for sweeps and leg kicks because you're completely sideways. So that's just something to keep in mind. There's a lot of ways to transition from one stance to the next. Um, you don't want to just transition. Like if you're trying to set up a spin kick or, or, or a spinning back kick or a hook kick, you don't want to just transition all the time by just stepping sideways. You're, you're, you're kind of telegraphing and let your opponent know you're trying to do something, you know? So, I mean, choose the transition by kind of blinding your opponent by tricking them pretty much. I mean, switch your feet. If you, if you train the TKD or uh, Taekwondo kickboxing, you know how to switch your feet, switch your feet, you know, you can switch your feet and then now I'm in a side stance. You can barely tell that I, I turn sideways and from this position, I can throw a spin kick or a spinning back kick or anything I want to I wanna throw from that, from that stance. So just make sure um, you don't telegraph or show your opponent what you're trying to do. Hi, if I'm tripping. Right, well, that's it for the first tutorial. I hope you learned something from this. Um, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. In the next tutorial, we'll work on stretching and uh, just increasing or maintaining flexibility.